Hello, this is Zubair. And this is Zach. Welcome to IT <laughs> So um, You were in a debate. Yes, we were, and I was a little I'm a little bit anxious today. So I think Anxious? Yes. A little bit? So I think we're ready. This is uh, part two of the After discussion. the last sip? Yes. It seems you're comfortable. You're gonna, are you gonna We are going to see. Okay, then let's just go at it. Do you remember your childhood? Well, the question. The question was? We had a question in the previous uh, discussion. Okay, so the question was, why am I even in this world? Why didn't God just create me in paradise in the yeah. first place? What was the point with it? Yeah, why do I have to go through this hell? Let's try to begin with this. Do you remember your childhood? Yeah. Would you like to go back? Yeah. Serious? Yeah. I mean, really? Yeah. You just get rid of all of everything you know now? And back to childhood. No, no, I don't want to forget what I know now. Why not? Because I've learned a lot of good stuff. I mean, that, I've experienced a lot of good things, but there was no stress when I was a child. Yeah, I that's had no the worries. Point. I mean, it, it, yeah. you definitely want to go back. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of anything that I. I mean, the, the, the stuff that I've experienced in Tate now. I don't. I want. I don't want to lose that. Okay, that's fine. If that could be hap could happen, uh -huh. that would be fine. I'll say it like this. I want to go back as a child in the form that I'm in now, what, what I know now. Does that make sense? Yeah, I see. Okay. Let's, uh, let's accept this. And think, think of yourself when you were a child. Yeah. Do you, could you be able to describe the situation, the, the, the character, the, the, the type you were in? You were a child. Could you describe how you feel when you were a child? I didn't have any worries, any pain. I mean, you, I was happy. You w was happy. You were happy. You are, you are saying now. Yeah. I look back <clears throat> Would you be able to say that in your future, in your childhood? No. I bet you wouldn't. If I were to think, no, I, I, no. I mean, even when looking back one year ago, when life was a little bit easier, when I was in not one year ago, but when I was in high school, university, whatever. Every time I look back, it was easier than now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So yes, I, I couldn't say it was easy T then. Remember, your you have a baby. Uh huh. He, he's. Happy all the time. Yeah, he know. has no worries. Even he's in a painful situation, he has no worries. Right? I, I kiss him and he gets better. Well, yeah, that's correct. So, can you name the situation as he's in heaven, he's in paradise? Uh, okay, it seems like he's in paradise in this world. That's the point. Wow, gotcha. So, you cannot... And you... You name the situation that you were in in your childhood mm -hmm. as a beautiful situation now. Imagine yourself that you know you were you never get out of your childhood. Mm -hmm. Would you would that situation be tasteful as tasteful as now for you? Mm. No. No, because I would I wouldn't have gotten all the things that I like. I, yeah. So, uh, we understand the childhood kind of absolute when you get rid of some of it mm -hmm. by gr growing up, you feel, huh, it was good. Yeah. You become older and older. Really, it, it was good. I mean, really good, you say. Yeah. Okay. So now you're starting to go back. Yes. This is the same for the paradise that we just expelled out. If we were in the paradise, uh -huh. all the time span, if the, the, you know, there is no time span in paradise, but whatever. We wouldn't be able to describe the situation, the beauties, the, the mercifulness, the bounties that we, we are in, that we were in. I like tea and I like cheese a lot. I, I hadn't tasted it before. Now, okay, I couldn't describe cheese or tea. Huh. Okay. Now, we, got, we just get out of the paradise. Mm -hmm. And now we realize that paradise exists. We love paradise. Uh -huh. It's a real bounty. It's something uh -huh. wonderful that I really want to go in. Like a child when he, yeah, he hits puberty and he realizes, wow. And then, here is the second point, or whatever. Can you name yourself, or can you define the situation that you are an exile, clearly exiled? Exiled. Exiled from paradise? Yeah. Well, I mean... At some I time, save some, some time. I guess I drink some tea and I get some sort of happiness from that. I, I learn new things. No, 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 that, 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 that's not the point. Uh, I, okay, I didn't understand. If you were truly exiled from paradise, there, were, there wouldn't be any chance to go back in. Huh. Okay. So, 
Are you saying that I have a chance to get back to paradise? Yes, of course. Huh, okay. We know, we all know that if you behave, <laughs> you are going to get back to paradise. But, but this paradise won't be the same paradise that you were expelled in your words. Okay. You are going to get into a paradise that you now truly feel, truly understand the bounty. I get everything that I got in this world. Even more. And yeah, more that I'm going to experience and maybe even more that I don't know. Okay, but at least everything that I experience in this world, I will get. Without any pain, without any suffering, without any wo worries. Okay, how? I mean, what about the... Let, let, let's answer the question that okay. uh, the God is so rude to get me out of the paradise. Actually, he's so merciful to get you out of the paradise temporarily to make you feel the paradise, how beautiful it is. Mm. You know, there's an interesting thing. I look at my own son. Yep. I look at your daughter. I like him in this position, yes. but I want him to grow up. Yes. I want him to grow, get big, learn things, get married, etc. I want him to experience all those good things too. But we still love the childhood situation. But I want him to... Huh. So it's kind of like the similar situation. Yes. Okay. So we can understand... It's uh, <laughs> interesting. It's great. Okay. So we understand God is really merciful to get us out of the paradise temporarily to uh, truly feel, truly benefit from the paradise. Okay. Remember the, the, the true full light. There is no uh, dark, no shades of dark. In pure light, there's no shades of darkness. Okay. And I cannot really experience or understand it. I can't understand the light. Yeah. Okay. So I cannot even notice the existence of light. So I cannot get happiness from it. Okay. So I wasn't it, happy in, in paradise. I wouldn't be able to happy if I wouldn't be under, wouldn't able to understand the paradise exists or the, the bounties within the paradise. Mm. But now I'm out, I have some shades of gray, mm -hmm. and I can experience, wow, this is something, some portion of it, somehow, uh -huh. and oh, I'm willing to go back. When I get back, I am going to experience fully. Huh, okay. So I'm eager to go back. Okay, so what about hell? I understand that. Uh, okay, what, fine, So then thanks. what about hell? Okay, in this world I'm happy, but what about hell? then uh, and you ask the last uh, discussion in the last discussion if Allah is so rude to if, if he knows that I'm going to get to hell uh -huh. what what he lets me happen to what why, why, why he is letting me go there yeah, yeah yeah actually he is not do you want to go back to your childhood yes yes but literally you cannot yes I can't I can't make myself go back okay can you go to Jannah I theoretically yes. Yeah, I, theoretically I, yes. I, if you behave, it, yes, then you can. You yes. Okay. Can you blame God not letting you into Jannah or heaven or paradise if you just make yourself blind and not to see the things that you have to see? So if I clo if I close my eyes, yep. There's light outside, and I close my eyes, and, and you say, cannot see. And I say I want to see, and. God is saying, open your eyes and I'll give you light. Yes, you got If I continue point. to say, no, I'm I going to keep my, keep my eyes closed, then it's not his fault. He's yes. So I'm, I'm trying, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to a bit make more clear, maybe. Okay. Uh, let me, let, let me try uh, and help me out. Uh, we were in paradise. He let us out in order to uh, feel us to feel, uh, the, the paradise. Make us feel the paradise. Make us feel the paradise. And we came here and we see, huh, there are some bounties, limited, mm -hmm. uh, and we want to go back. In order to support this eagerness, mm -hmm. he created the entire universe supporting this. There are a lot of evidences of what God. Wait, so every, the, the, the universe is supporting us to want to go back to... Paradise. Yes, of course. Okay. They, they, okay. They, they are telling, remember the other discussions that we had. Uh, everything around us reminds us God. His bounties, his properties. Uh, everything his, is something new that we can learn, so it's something that we everything, can have. Yes, literally we can say okay. everything pushing us back to the Jannah. Okay, to paradise. To paradise. Jannah is the Turkish word, by the way. Yes, Jannah is the Turkish word. I'm just uh, accustomed to it. But as long as we close our eyes, mm -hmm. it's not God's fault. If we choose to close our own eyes and we know that we can open them. And 
we can truly say that we have the option to choose. Huh, it's so not it's, God's fault. We are free, really free to choose to close our eyes or open them. So it's our choice if we go to paradise or to hell. Yes. Okay. I, that, I'm satisfied with that answer. Let's see if you are satisfied. Uh, please leave your comments and everything else. Thank you, Zubair, for the... <laughs> Thank you, brother. For the uh, enlightenment, I guess. Uh, I'm happy. Thank you. Thank happy. you. And see you next time.